Hey, it's Ben Tini, your mom's favorite musician who sounds like they released music in 2013. She says hi, by the way. I'm here inside of your phone to break down the lyrics to my new song, Red Sky, which you should be streaming right now. Multitask, come on. Couldn't believe that we would ever get here After all your words I thought were sincere Oh, the fool that you made me I'm restored in my search for me so Red Sky is a song about putting your faith in somebody and having to just like completely fall apart. The song starts from a place of disbelief after having once again been misled and having to restart this emotional journey to find some semblance of peace. I threw in a cheeky little tarot reference at the very start with the Oh the Fool as that's like the first of the major arcana, which typically represents the start of a journey or it just brings you back to the starting room with the Binding of Isaac. Kept me close one, it was a convenience. I'm a stuck for some sort of allegiance. Little turbulence, injection sequence. My it's been kind of a reoccurring theme in, uh, well, I was going to say my music, but I guess my life in general. Those are kind of the same thing, I guess. <laughs> it's It's been kind of a reoccurring thing of uh, people warming up to me and then mental illness happens and then they just kind of drop me. And like, it's not like I'm not cool with like having that conversation, like setting boundaries and shit around it. But sometimes that conversation just never happens and it sucks. It really fucking sucks. But yeah, it's like people just tend to ghost for whatever reason. And like in Red Sky's case, I had this feeling deep down that something bad was going to go wrong. And then, you know, something bad did go wrong. Maybe I'm the problem here. <laughs> The chorus to Red Sky was inspired by an old sailor's proverb. Red Sky at morning, sailor's morning. Red Sky at night, sailor's delight. Um, the whole EPS is kind of like nautical theme to it. And it just kind of came to me after I wrote the riff for it at like 3 a.m. drunkenly, which is a uh, totally normal thing to do. I'm so fine at normal. Then building on that metaphor of like Red Sky sending a warning, I use rose tinted glasses as like a non-sexual double entendre to mean both like you can't see the red sky because of the red tint and then like look at things a little too optimistically. The second half of the chorus I had built on the first half's metaphor and also reintroduced the fool. After that's not reference to the song for a future project, but uh that's future Ben shit. But the, the fool reference does reinforce that once again I'm restarting this journey for the search for quote unquote home, which is not like a physical home, it's like an emotional home. It's a reference that I use a lot in my music just because like it's a thematic thing for my life. I was very particular in putting the bitter broken me in there as it's the very slightest nod to bitter broken me by as it is off of their first EP. They've always been a band that I've uh taken inspiration from and it's just like just a, just a little a little salute thought it was rare how we clicked so easily shocked when it stopped but the effort it came from me the bridges I left burning no point with no so I'm somebody who actually tends to click reasonably well with people immediately, believe it or not. When I was younger, I definitely thought that uh, connecting on a deeper level right away was like something that was special. And that's not to say that it's not because it definitely is. It's more just like I have developed really bad whiplash over the years because like I would have a really good connection with somebody and then they drop me and then you know trauma it's just like yeah people see that i'm pretty impersonable but they don't see that i'm also problematic right away at least <laughs> and uh that's ultimately what the second verse is about it's experiencing the pain and whiplash of a broken connection and then dropping it because ultimately it's just too much effort and too much pain to to try and rekindle it after i showed you the layers of myself you stayed away just like everybody fucking else no stability nor supporting me should have foreseen when you started again I feel like at this point in the song, it's pretty established that I'm just like, hey, I got really vulnerable and you reassured me that uh, this was a safe space and then you disappeared on me and it's just kind of like, what the fuck? And also just like, oh, there was a bunch of red flags that I should have probably seen coming at this point, but I chose to ignore them because uh, I was taking you at your word, you motherfucker. But yeah, the emotional impact of everything is ultimately like, it's just harder to navigate vulnerability, which uh, sucks because it's kind of uh, important to do that as a musician. We love workplace complications. I was honest from the start Didn't want us to fall apart But there's only so much I can do with No effort I'm your own from the start Should have known we fall apart Cause there's only so much I can do with No effort from you 
So I'm somebody that tries to be open and honest and try and set like realistic expectations for other people. And this part of the song is really just me being honest, being like, it takes two people to have that conversation. And so like, if the other person doesn't show up, like I can't read your fucking mind, like contrary to popular belief. And like, I'm more than happy to come to the table and like have a discussion and like figure out boundaries and like something that works for both of us. But if you're just not going to show up, it's obviously like you're, you're done with it at this point. And I'm more than happy to give people space if they need it or give people time if they need it and support them in any way that I can you know obviously if it's somebody that I love but this ultimately wasn't one of those situations it was just you know somebody being really shitty and it was somebody that just ultimately you know disappeared and so it, it just kind of really sucked well that was depressing you should go stream red sky and cheer yourself up because it f fucking slaps i would say the song of the year but there's fucking five other songs on cp that are like also really good and so you have to decide what your favorite is in a uh, winky love you thanks for listening <laughs> bye <laughs>